my beautiful people you're welcome back guys my name is Bukumi PK crown so we're gonna be checking out the country with Muslims but no mosque Wow this first time I'm hearing this and I'm so curious to find it out how come how do they pray you know where do they pray together so let's check it out it's not easy being a Muslim in this European country there is not one single mosque here. Islam can't be taught in schools, and the 5,000 member Muslim community is not officially recognized. We are talking about Slovakia, where to have these rights, 50,000 signatures from adults from that religious group are needed. But the law wasn't always like that. Previously, just 20,000 signatures of any citizen of the country were enough to get state recognition. But in 2007, that was changed, so the group needed 20,000 of its own adult members to sign. Although Muslims form around 0.1% of the population, some MPs portrayed Islamization as a real threat while advocating for the law. Islamization starts kebab, and in Bratislava it is now And you can what can be for 5 or 10 years. In 2017, the National Council more than doubled the number of signatures needed, despite Slovak President Andrei Kiska's veto. I mean, as Muslims, I do really need uh, to be fully recognized and to have the feeling that we are well accepted and well integrated by the governments, by the society. We as Muslims, we are citizens. We have, uh, beside our duties, also some yeah. rights. Not being officially recognized affects the everyday lives of Muslims in Slovakia. Wow. They can't have official religious leaders, perform Islamic marriages which would be equal to civil ones, nor can they receive funds from the government, unlike the members of 18 other registered religions. Wow. And they've also had to sell this land bought in 1999, where they were never allowed to build a cultural center. Islamophobia is present in Slovakia and hateful statements by politicians aren't unusual. Každý normálny Európan, kresťan či ateista musí mať strach pred satansko-pedofilným dielom diabla, to je islamským náboženstvom. The situation worsened sharply after the influx of refugees to Europe in 2015. The absence of mosques was even used to oppose accepting Muslim refugees. The politicians knew very well that they can spread some climate of fear by talking about Islam and refugees and also by knowingly and intentionally mixing those uh, topics. topics. In 2017, Islamophobia stopped spreading in society, but Muslims are still waiting for basic rights. Slovakia is a member of the European Union, which states that fundamental rights are guaranteed nationally by the constitutions of individual countries. But is this member country providing all of its citizens equal rights? Uh -uh. Wow. This is so surprising. But in the beginning of the video, I saw a group of people praying. I think that should be uh, maybe in their homes or maybe it's just some a private place you get it but i don't know why they don't allow them to you know actually build a mosque there because a place of worship is needed so that everybody can communicate well to god you get it and i heard that um there's other 18 religions in that particular country wow i'm shocked hey I, I i will need to do more research on the countries because i didn't know we have a lot of religions out, out there guys uh one of the men they actually interviewed said you know they are not giving them that freedom they want to be recognized they want to be known they want to have that freedom freedom of speech freedom of you know movement and you know freedom of you know come worshiping god you get it and i only god knows what actually started this whole thing only god knows what started it and one particular um uh, man who is in the government hierarchy said something said the reason why they don't really accept islam because they believe islam is um is a corrupt religion is a bad religion you can't just hate on a religion for no reason Everybody serve their God differently. 
as an as a christian whether you are hindu christian you know muslim we all serve our god differently so the main thing is you know we we should worship god that's the major thing so i don't know right now because this video is actually old uh, i think it was released some years back so i don't know the development right now in that country if it's still the same or now they are giving them the freedom you know freedom and they um, they've started allowing them to build mocks i don't know about that but i think i need to do research on that but you know guys doing research sometimes is very hard because i mostly react to a lot of videos so i can't actually go through all at once but hopefully if i you know come across something like that you know we'll watch it together and i'll know your views so guys let me know your views in the comment box let's keep this discussion going what do you have to say about this is it right for them to actually you know um is it right what they did to the citizen is it really right or do you think okay they should do some adjustment or what was your thought about it let's let me know guys because to me it's not right i would say no because yeah, i know we can worship god anywhere we have but you know there's a there's there are some things that we need to come together as one and be in a very holy place and mox is the holy place like the same way church is a holy place it's an holy ground so i think that's the main reason why they should allow you know mosque in that particular country so thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one